Okay, so I've been working on the um, freeze menu for the Mega 65. So we've got the keyboard down here. If I um, do a short press on reset, or restore rather, uh, that brings us up into the freeze menu, which has changed quite a bit since we last saw it. Uh, so we've now got a bunch of toggles, so I can press the C key and it will change the CPU personality. We can press F and change the CPU frequency. Uh, we can toggle write protection on the ROM area. We can toggle whether cartridges are enabled. And we can also change whether the uh, the video standard when it goes back will be um, 50 or 60 hertz. Uh, we have the monitor, which works for displaying memory reasonably well. Uh, the rest of the functions uh, are still being worked on. Likewise, the poke finder and these sorts of things are still being worked on. Uh, what uh, we can also do, we can navigate through the, um, the free slots. If they're invalid, we don't see anything. Uh, this one's corrupt, but it still thinks it's there, it's okay. Um, and of course, the uh, other really fun thing that we've got here now is we have this nice little uh, thumbnail display that shows uh, what you're running. Uh, it's sampled at 80 by 50 pixels, so it's a bit um, uh, rough, but it's actually just really handy to be able to see uh, what was there. So we can see here that we were in C65 uh, basic mode. Uh, so let's actually go through to set the, the frequency of the CPU to 40 megahertz. Let's press D to change the disk image we want to mount. Now, if we leave it on a particular disk for a couple of seconds, once my poor uh, camera can uh, focus on the brightness again, sorry about that. Uh, let's go down to a disk with a lot of stuff on it. And again, after a couple of seconds, it's showing us what's there and we say, okay, yep, there's some stuff that we want to, uh, to load. We'll hit enter on that one. We can now see that the disk image field now says test.d81 instead of mega65.d81. Uh, so that's mounted it. So let's press F3 to resume. And pretty quickly we're back there. And now we can see that that disk is mounted. So let's do go 64. Uh, we're in fast mode with the CPU. So everything will load pretty quickly, or at least it should. Uh, let's pull up leaderboard golf. Okay, that's loaded, and we didn't even see. Uh, it redraws the thing because it's that fast. Oh, there's quite a bit of wind there today. And if we now go back into the freeze menu, this is kind of fun. We have a real screen, so we can see, oh look, there's a cute little leaderboard golf. Uh, in there and there we are back in leaderboard golf again uh, of course we can just reset back to reboot you can see it, it boots pretty quick in fact actually the longest time at the moment is that this version of the c65 rom just likes to do a checksum on itself and that takes a, a couple of seconds and again we can just hop into the um uh, the freeze menu there we can hit d we can again Let's pick that same disk. Oh, here's a bug in this bitstream that I need to fix at the moment. Uh, sometimes when it exits out of the um, uh, the freeze menu, it has the video in this strange mode. But if we jump in and out a couple of times, it'll sort itself out. And you can actually see from that that the freezing is, uh, is pretty quick. Now we're back to normal CPU speed here. So this will all be a bit Oops, slower, and have all of our bits and pieces there. Um, yeah. Okay, so yeah, the, uh, the freeze menu is by and large working now. Uh, certainly now it's a really comfortable way to switch between disk images and things while we're doing development. Uh, and that's a, a really helpful thing as well. Okay, thanks for that. Hope you enjoyed it. See yous.